5.14 p.m. when he was shot in the chest. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 21 years old. People were wondering what he was doing in Trap City territory. Well, video of the shooting just came out. It turns out little Jeff died while on a drill trying to kill one of his ops. In the video, little Jeff can be seen shooting at someone and chasing them into a house when out of nowhere, Somebody someone pop. within the house returns fire and yeah. strikes him in the chest. What's your own fault? How you bumming, shorty? How y'all coming, shorty? It's your ball of mall. I'm back with another banger reaction YouTube concentration type of video. Because we about to be entertained. We about to get into it. We about to see what the thugs doing, what the street operators doing. We about to get put a stop to this shit. Now, I know y'all seen by that title and thumbnail. I know y'all probably be like, Lamar, first off, you late. You're man, don't even don't, don't get on my head, bro. I know I'm late, bro. You ain't got to tell me, twin. But, like, I had to get this out, bro. I, I literally just seen a video of the what happened this morning, son. And I'm like, damn. Like, I ain't know what happened like that, fool. No, I'm thinking it was just like one of those, like, ha-ha school got killed or something like that. I'm thinking it's something like that. But, uh, yeah, man, we got Bloodhound, Lil' Jeff, man. The life and death of a shot wreck, Savage, man. So we about to see what's in, bro. We pretty much about to see what's in, what happened and everything. Uh, I ain't about to talk y'all head off too long, man. If you're new to the channel, y'all already know what to do. Y'all already know what I... If you fuck with me, bro, if you rock with this video, you actually like this video, you actually find some funniness for this video, some entertainment for this video, let me know in the comments, twin. I really appreciate it. But if you don't, bro, I ain't eight. I ain't, I ain't forcing you to do a damn thing. Hey. I can't even force you to stop breathing if I wanted to. You see what I'm saying? Hey, do your thing. Let's get it. So, okay, so you got this reputation, man. You got this crazy oh, reputation. Shit. You feel me? Uh, how do you how do you move through Chicago? Do do you feel like you probably got a target on your back? Hell no, nah, I ain't scared, man. I'm outside every day. They ass ducking. I never see people on live dropping my low, showing their ass when I'm at. We be outside every day. Bro. I be from up. Everywhere you could think of. When you gangbang in a city like Chicago, no matter how big and bad you think you are, yeah. you can and will be touched. So many. I learned that shit out here in the streets, like in New Orleans, brother. Like, y'all ever been around somebody that you knew was getting there to shoot out? You knew. Now, it's not for everybody, son. Like, I'm not saying that you should be around somebody that, you know what I'm saying? That's just not normal. But, like, being around that person, knowing like you know what I'm saying, and you think like, damn, and you see little fool them get his ass touched, it, it make you think like, like when I seen brother bro get touched, bro, that was like a, a eye awakening for me. Like, nigga, you you could get touched too. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I know fool them was getting active in them. You know what I'm saying? The people in that city with the craziest serial killer type of reputations have gotten killed there. Being but this man Chicago already got a messed up monster. Like, why is he saying like nobody? Do you think he got no target on his back? I think it was like another King Von. Once this nigga died, everybody claimed his head. Kill you faster. The subject of today's video blew up on social media after openly bragging about committing a heinous broad daylight double murder and hinting at having over ten bodies in the streets. His social media antics would bring a spotlight to his music, but would also put a large target on his back. He would only have a name for a couple months before he was shot and killed. The subject of today's video is none other than Bloodhound Little Jeffrey, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And then without a body, he only had a couple minutes of fame, like, I mean, a couple months of fame, like, he didn't even have it like that, how they making it seem, so... Yeah, boy. Then he, then he, then he posting a, then he putting the uh, teardrops on his neck. I ain't never seen that one before. It should be interesting, Twin. 
Bloodhound Little Jeff is a rapper and gang member from the east side of Chicago. Yeah. He had two brothers and was raised primarily by his mother as his dad wasn't really around. He quit playing basketball after he didn't make the varsity team so he looked for something else to do with his life. Oh, his shit. rough upbringing led to him gravitating towards the streets. This ain't me that's doing this uh, blur either, y'all. That's, that's, the, that's the video. When Jeff was just 14 years old, his house was shot up and a bullet flew by his face, nearly hitting him. His older brother was active in the streets and would introduce Jeff to it. He officially jumped off the porch at 18 years old. Jeff was a member of Drill City slash Bloodhound, which claims the area of 79th in Maryland. They beef with BKN, Trap City, TYMB, 8 Trey Mob, and 800. Little Jeff was wild. He was always on Instagram Live, dropping his location and displaying heavy artillery. That's 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 it right there, bro. Dropping your location to him. I done seen that. And that's what I seen, bro. I done seen folk do that too. Like, I done seen niggas I know in real life do that. You know what I'm saying? He, he dropping his low Like, let me tell y'all one thing, bro. Never let, bro. You 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 only beat yourself when you put when you put somebody on your movement. Like you mess up when you put everybody on your every move because then you wonder how a nigga snaked you. You feel me? But I say like if it's static, what well, a nigga go handle your business, bro. But like 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 Roger said in that song, bro. But move right ain't nothing right ain't nothing nice up in no life sense, son. So I just say, bro, like. I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you put your pipe down. I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you keep your pipe up. I'm just going to let you know like this, fool. You know what you did. You know what kind. You, you make the own bed you're going to land. And if you a kid watching me, you a teenager, you 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, whatever, however old you is, 20, you watching this, bro. Know this, bro. Don't let nobody tell you or, 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 or knock you out your way of thinking, bro. Don't make nobody let you think that you stupid, twin. You not dumb. Don't let nobody make you play. Don't, don't let nobody play with you like you stupid out you. You ain't gotta live. You ain't gotta smoke what they smoke, drink what they drink too, what they too. All rap what they rap, listen to what they listen to, all do what they do. You ain't even gotta talk to the same bitches these niggas talk to. Feel me, bro? He acted crazy on social media. He was snorting lines on camera during interviews. He openly line. hinted on multiple occasions that he had over ten bodies and that he was a top killer in Chicago. I'm taking the killing school. Class start next week. You got at least have like you got at least have two bodies though. For I ain't coming with no. If you ain't got shit. I can't work with no beginners, folks. <laughs> you got at least have a. You got at least have a two. I'm gonna give y'all two. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. They fucked up out here in these streets now. The young niggas evolving. Y'all be ever seen that shit on your TikTok when they be like these young niggas evolving? These young niggas evolving. Like. When have it ever been fun to just like try to teach somebody how to kill or catch some ass or something? But like I don't know, like it's pretty much like he get the validation that he needs for doing it. So is it wrong? Is it wrong because everybody gas him up and make it seem like it's the right thing to do, and he just go along with it? And I'm not trying to get too ahead of the story, but I could have sworn that this is the same person that. Died because he wanted to chase somebody down without his mans. Two men, a two. I'm gonna start at two men because y'all know where I'm gonna start at two men. Now I'm just doing it for for a tradition. I'm starting at two men, man. Two, you gotta have a minimum of two. No, anything you gotta have two. <laughs> you gotta have a, you gotta have a minimum of two of them bitches. To come to school, you just gonna sit your dumb ass in this seat and whatever I say, do it. If you do anything scary, bitch, I'm smoking your ass. He would also rob people that instantly go online to brag about it and taunt his victims. I'm gonna show y'all who just got his ass fucked. That nigga just found me mad. It wasn't him, but it was his hey, number. Bro. I'm gonna show y'all look. First, he had it. It's not my hair. The fucking fool. Yeah, I'm not this shit. With a burst of that. Man, we are this nigga, cuz. His ass is fucked. Show that bitch. We got an AP already, son. That's crazy. I'm having my way in Chicago, Illinois. Now we got another road. Hey, man, get them people they shit back. So, 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 you take 
So I'm saying the Jeff Tick niggas chains, chain, chain watches, diamonds and everything. He wearing them like young flash. Ten thousand cost them his whole hustle career. Everything he worked hard for. It cost lost all ten thousand. He, he, he even shot at someone on Instagram take. Live and somehow didn't get arrested. It's that bitch twin. Since jumping off the porch at 18, he little Jeff was shots. doing a lot in the streets, but he really turned things up following the death of a close friend. Is he money? Jeff's crew, Drill City, and another crew called Trap City used to be cool with each other until they allegedly backdoored one of Jeff's closest friends. One day, a Drill City member named Z Money was shot and killed. Members of Trap City were allegedly responsible for Z Money's death. Jeff said in an interview that the death of Z Money made him see red and it really got him to go hard in the streets. I don't know what Jeff's 10 plus alleged bodies are, so I'm just going to discuss the- I'm just saying this. Fuck. I'm tired of it. Every nigga in Chicago is 10 up. It's every nigga in Chicago 10 up. Vaughn. K.I. Fucking this dude. Who else? It's, I'm just asking you. It's everybody in Chicago 10 up. Let me know in the comments. You from Chicago. You from that rag. You from that Illinois. You from that side. The West. Whatever the fuck you from. Let me know in the comments, bro. Is they really 10 up out there? Like, is they really, is they really taking niggas churn away from them? He ain't 10 up, twin. Like 3 4. You hear it, man? Probably hit 10 niggas or try to hit 10 niggas, but he ain't 10 up. Bro, if you got 10 kills, bro, you never got caught, nigga. That's a serial killer. You fucking, you know what I'm telling y'all? Like, I, I be letting that, that street from gay and shit get y'all hell, I don't know, bro. Fuck y'all talking about. The ones that he self snitched about the most. The, the first yeah. one was allegedly direct retaliation for Z Money's death. You telling me, nigga, 10 he never got no motherfucking arrest for no murder? Ain't crazy. On June 25th, 2023, a Trap City member named Leo, real name Jaleel Goins, had just gone into the backseat of a lift ride in the 1300 block of West Taylor Street in Little Italy just before 9 p.m. when another car approached. Someone inside hopped out, walked up to the backseat window where Leo was sitting, and opened fire. That's crazy. Leo was shot multiple times and rushed to the hospital, where he was tragically pronounced dead at just 19 years old. 19. Little Jeff and other members of Bloodhound went on social media and pretty much openly confessed to being responsible for Leo's murder and that it was get back for Z Money. Go ask my ops that Michael Drake put shit in park. Go ask my ops that Michael Drake his ass ain't making fuck. Go ask my ops that Michael Drake his ass ain't get out that cop. Know that. Sometime after this, little Jeff would allegedly. I believe this nigga went with them. This one of the niggas I wouldn't question if he was on that drill. I may question did he shoot his gun, but I ain't gonna question if he went. He the type of nigga to go on a drill even without a gun. And y'all might be like, how the fuck that happened, Molly? You would be surprised, twin be involved in a double murder that made him gain notoriety on the internet. He like real Little kid. Jeff and like Bloodhound a kid. used to be cool with members of BKN. Jeff, I know you're not getting off at 12, 13 year old niggas, bro. In fact, there's videos of Jeff online hanging out with them. Well, everything changed after Jeff was allegedly robbed by BKN members for his watches. This made him want to get back at them as soon as possible. Well, he would allegedly do so in a horrific manner. On January 26, 2024, a BKN member named Monty, real name Ontario Williams, and another young man named Little Rob, real name Robert Boston, were standing outside of their school, Innovations High School, when a group of masked gunmen jumped out of two vehicles in front of the school and opened fire. The gunmen let off dozens of shots, striking Monty and Little Rob multiple times in the chest. 
both are rushed to the hospital where Monty would tragically be pronounced dead at just 17 years old and little Rob would tragically be pronounced dead at just 16 years old. Following this double homicide, little Jeff went on social media openly bragging about being responsible, claiming that he and his crew killed them because they stole from him. The shit we even started happening to y'all know this by now. I went black for like a week and poof. Gotta go after that one. Poof. I came back. Poof. I don't hear them niggas though. Why y'all took that man watch? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a buck. If I'm gonna jack you, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. That's why I don't, that's why I, you know, I, you gotta go. You gotta go. No retaliation by you. No such thing as by you. Nah. Don't need anything about a partner. Waste your time. Waste your energy. Waste your life. These niggas creed, they don't care to him. Walked in Lisbon, two heads. Three stepping on blood, niggas know how I get. Ain't get a chance to rock, can't say that he trip. Bounced off four states, two niggas got hit. Monty also went by the nickname Zop. You think this shit cute, bro? Before he passed. Monty did a vlog with see a you YouTuber named On a Couch Not TV. on this side, and I'm going to see you murder, on that side. Little Jeff it. recently released a song where he quoted exactly what Monty said in that video and claimed that he turned Za into Za. Cause they know I smoke pot. We really spank shit, turn Za into Za. Damn. We really spank shit, turn Za into Za. Smoke your ass like some Za. Get your ass smoke like some Za. Brr. Please, and y'all already know my name is Drex. Zah, they call me Zah. Smoke your dumb ass like some Zah. <laughs> All of this self snitching and social media antics started to cause little Jeff to blow up. His music videos started to get Everybody hundreds of thousands of views. In drill music, when someone is believed to be a real killer, my nigga tune two Michael Dragos. If y'all. See, for y'all young niggas that don't know, bro, this is one of the most unaccurate guns on the fucking planet. It just sound good. Like, you ever heard a nigga fuss with you and you be like, yeah, it sound good, you hear know I me? Mean? But let's see how, like, is you really gonna get it on? Is you really gonna put me up? Come on, now. Like, it sound good, you hear know I me? Mean? That sounds good, but it hurt. But it sounds good. Shit, I'm And actually living their raps, fans start to gravitate hit by that bitch, towards Don't make it seem like I'm just saying, like, oh, no, nigga, I'm about to you probably But get eventually, it would catch up with him. There you go. On June 8th, 2024, Little Jeff was in the 6600 block of South Roads at 5.14 p.m. when he was shot in the chest. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 21 years old. People were wondering what he was doing in Trap City territory. Well, video of the shooting just came out. Okay. It turns out, Little Jeff died while on a drill trying to kill one of his ops. See that? In the video, Little Jeff can be seen shooting at someone and chasing them into a house when out of nowhere, Somebody someone pop. within the house returns fire and yeah. strikes him in the chest. Shortly after Jeff's death, those close to him would mourn on social media. At the moment of making this video, it is unknown who killed him, but pretty much every single one of Bloodhound's ops have gone on social oh, yeah. media dissing him and celebrating. Bro, you gotta know it's coming, twin. Like, woo! <laughs> All I gotta say inside of the video, Jeff was trying to get at something. And I ain't linked to, I ain't got this on Instagram, Twin. You gotta look at it on Instagram, Twin, Twitter or some shit. Go search it up. You'll find it. You will find it. But the only thing I gotta say, why? I think his man was shot. That's why he probably turned around. But yeah, they called him, bro. That was bad, bro. Look, man. I gave you that. 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 I bet. Pop that right now. Who that? 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 Man, Chicago is a different breed. People. Chicago is a different breed. Everybody up, chin up hats. 
Everybody like that out there. Everybody got a wop. Everybody trying to jack somebody. Everybody want rap. I feel bad for any nigga that just want to grow up in Chicago. Just be a normal nigga. <laughs> Fuck. You can't even be a normal nigga. Even the bitches like these type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? I bet. Let me know in the comments if I'm tripping. I bet the bitches even like that. Like, I bet the females dig these niggas so hard. It's crazy. Like, look at Nene Brooks situation. Setting the school and shit up, whatever. Her ass got hit. RP, I mean, good only to their family and shit, but she deserved what the fuck she got. I ain't saying nobody about to die, but if you set another man up as a female, you deserve to be, you know what I'm saying? The one that be, get the judgment done to you. Regardless that justice in two different ways. The jail. Or that coffin. I'm telling you, bro, like you don't pull no shit like that off, especially if they already in the streets and they gonna die regardless. Cause think about it, bro. You already gonna die. You already gonna go to jail or die. You already knew. If I go slide, if I go kill some, I got a chance of going to jail. If I get in the shoot, I got a chance of dying. If a nigga, nigga, nigga pull up on me, nigga, get, I got a chance of dying. You know what I'm saying? I can call up, nigga. I, when you know that, bro, you feel what I'm saying? Like, then you gonna set a nigga up to make a nigga die easier? Come on, bro. You supposed to die. But like, look, man, that's that, that's just how I feel, bro. If you hey. I know that this was like a late video which came became late, but bro. Ridiculous.